Honestly, boys, let me get a towel actually real quick. I don't need to get a hack. I don't need to get a. I don't need to get a. Brain cells work, please. I don't need to get a hair dryer anymore. Sitting my hair is so short. But I still do need a towel just to dry my hair a bit. And then my hair gets dry real quick. So people plus to keep eye contact with the camera this time. Honestly, boys, girls, an odd girl that watches the video. I think, was it, was it like 34% girls, which is very high. It's very weird. Am I that feminine or something? It's quite high for a male talk channel. What the? What the? Honestly, recording videos has been my only way out. My only way of trying to control myself. And that is recording videos, like I just said. I apologize for repeating myself, I sound like a broken record right now. I like in all my videos. <laughs> but recording videos has been one of those things where I can be so expressive, I can be, be so myself. And I don't think I'm hateable. I think a lot of people would consider me a smart ass, a smart ass, smart ass. But even then, like, I wouldn't. I don't know everything. I admittedly say I don't know everything. People are like, oh, you just you seem like you know everything. You always talk like you know everything. Well, when I talk, I usually know what the fuck I'm talking about. But if I don't talk, I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm sitting there listening, trying to uh, uh, obtain information. And that's how the way. I, that's the way I function. It just happens to be that I talk a lot, and especially with the interaction with the internet, you happen to know a lot. Information is free. And information is abundant. We live in the information age, the golden age of information age, perhaps even the platinum age. Next, the titanium age, as the information if just continues to become better and stronger over the period of time, over the course of time, not the period of time. And because of it, I seem to know a lot. Well, in all, in all emittance, it is usually trivial things, menial things. But to people that have fragile egos, e egos, egos, Seems like I know it all. Oh, you just know it all. Shut up, kid. You don't know anything. Sure, I'll shut up. What do you know? Say something. Comment something. I'm, a, I'm all ears. I'm free to listen. I, I read and respond to every single hate comment. In fact, I, I'm trying to compile good hate comments in order to listen to it as I work out. But I don't have any headphones anymore because I lost them. I lost my cheap plastic fake AirPods. Honestly, I think about fake AirPods, I think about school. I remember when I was in school still, college. I used to put my AirPods, I used to put on my hoodie, and I used to just daydream in class. And people ask me, why why, why, why drop out of school? Because I used to put on my AirPods, I used to put on my headphones, and my, my, my uh, no headphones, put on my AirPods, my fake AirPods, put on my head uh, my hoodie, cover my head completely, completely and just completely and utterly just detached from the situation daydream a vivid daydream like I was somewhere else my physical body was in that room like trying to learn in class my actual body was out my mind gone it was inoculated I don't know the word for that but it, it was, com I was I had complete lack of presence that's, the, that's the, something I can tell you for sure and ever since I started the good habits, like meditation, um, exercise, gratitude journaling, reading, I feel so much more present, especially meditation. Here's some of my vitamins. Video recording, honestly, is like is my only, you could, you could argue that it's a coping mechanism, but it's my only crutch in life at this point. It's very depressing, right? Obviously you want to make money, you want business, blah, blah, blah. we talk about it, uh, you always talk about your business, Jimmy, shut the fuck up, sorry. I know it's bad to drink vitamins, I'm mad, but I have no choice. I can sleep anyway. Could I? 
Talking about wallpaper resets. Yay. Is it bad to drink vitamins at night? maybe now I want to read now I want to do work oh my god what time is it 10 30 p.m. I apologize stupid as ever video editing video editing not video editing I mean video editing used to be but it, I just stopped because I surrounded myself with people that hated video editing and slowly before I knew it because I'm a people pleaser I started hating uh, video editing too you know a lot of people there's like three distinct types of people that of self-awareness or categories that will describe people that are self-aware someone who's a seeker which is a low self-awareness a low internal self-awareness and low external self-awareness so internal self-awareness which I learned today well yeah I learned in self-awareness psychology well Internal self awareness is effectively the way you perceive yourself, your goals, your aspirations, your life, blah, 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 your personality, your, just your overall you. External self awareness is how other people view you. Very simple. As an aware person would be on the high end of both internal and external self awareness. And everyone thinks they're the aware person, but in all likelihood, from what I've seen so far, everyone that thinks they're the outlier is not the outlier. Always some, someone is missing something that is reducing their self-awareness and reducing their ability to be, how do I say this, conscious of their surroundings fully and conscious of their inside. I ask people simple questions like, okay, so do you, what, if you're truly aware, like the aware is the highest, this is a seeker, seeker don't know shit, aware knows everything, then there's an introspector who's high on internal in self-awareness but low on external self-awareness and there's the... Some, some fuck all one. Let's call him. I don't know. I had it today. How can I? How can I forget? Okay, here yeah, the pleaser. I literally just said that. So here, here's the good the graph, the diagram. Oh, it's secret. They don't know. They don't yet know who they are or what they stand for and how teams see them. As a result, they might feel stuck and frustrated with their performance and relationships. I'm a bit of a seeker myself. In respect to the clear on who they are, but they don't challenge their own views or research for blind spots for getting the feedback from others. This can harm their relationship, limit their success. I'm not interested at all. Pleasers. They can be so focused on appearing in a certain way to others, they can be overlooking what matters to them. Over time, they tr they tend to make choices that aren't in service of their own success and fulfillment. Aware, they know who they are, what they want to accomplish, and they seek out the other people's opinions. This is where leaders begin to fully realize the true benefits of self awareness. And everyone believes they're aware, but only 10 to 15 percent of people are actually aware. I ask people a basic question like, What do you see from five to ten years? Oh, I don't know. What do you see yourself in five to ten years? Oh, I don't know. What do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I don't know. I'm finding myself, I'm learning, and growing, and shut the fuck up. You're not aware. You're either a seeker. You're an introspector. Maybe a people pleaser. I'm a bit of a people pleaser. I'm only slightly aware in my opinion. These videos have become sort of therapy for me. 
these videos of the crush that I allow myself to, you know, truly look back and think on, on what I said and what I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Or think about what I said and what I thought at the time of the, the creation of that video. I watch back my old videos and I'm like, damn, I really think that. Wow, based. I really agree with this guy. Oh shit, it's me. Everyone likes to call me an Asian hand say. Those are my own friend group. And I don't disagree. I do like Andrew Tate a lot. I do I have assimilated a lot of his personality into mine. Because I've seen him as a father figure. I, that's another video but I want to make analyzing this. A lot of fatherless kids, myself, will seek fatherhood in external sources. So before it could be like Tony Robbins or some classic motivational speech character. But in Andrew Tate, a lot of, and Hamza for example. I have like the older brother, Andrew Tate's dad. And in these individuals, for example, they are so much more like masculine, focused, driven, like physically fit type individuals, to the point where they're so irresistible to young men. Not in the sexual way, chill out guys. But in the way in which they're just so inspiring as individuals from like literal poverty to multimillionarism. And they achieved it. They actually did it. You can find Andrew Tate's old channel. You find Andrew Tate's old channel and you can literally see on what the Tate were doing 10, 15 plus years ago on YouTube. And it's all the old videos and they're just like fucking about Luton. They didn't lie about anything. They, leave, they really live in Luton. In that horrible shithole. Boring. Old. Desolate. Full of homeless and crackheads. Like Tottenham now, particularly the area I live. It's completely like a shithole. I, I look at the country and it's just grey. Today was sunny, really sunny, which made me really hate my life as well. I don't want to elaborate on, but it was sunny but cold. Amazing weather. So, I was in an office building, it was really nice office building, I have to admit. But it was sunny outside and I kept seeing, pla seeing planes outside. I was thinking, I was like, oh. I could really take a holiday around, and I thought to myself, looking at the people around my room, they're like, yeah, these people don't think this shit. These people do not think how I think. These people will not come out the way I come out. I have to be different. I'm not special. I am different. And that might lead to special things. That might lead to special results. Because I did special things. But I am not special. I am a living, breathing, tangent, tan tangible human being was tangent. And the fact that I can use v me talking to myself in a, in a camera well blind I don't have my glasses on it just look the camera doesn't look like a camera to me the camera looks like one black dot on the, on the stand if I can use that to be deeply introspective to post on YouTube be consistent on YouTube Is addictive and mean, not being special. No, I'm no one special. Seven billionaires. Maybe you could say you could argue Elon special for things he did, but then again, he's not really that special. There's always going to be another billionaire, a richer billionaire, for example. There's always going to be someone taller, someone stronger, someone with more kids. What is truly special? What is truly special? Nothing. Nothing is special. Something is only special if you make it special. If you assign something value, then it is valuable to you. There are things like money. That we all agree that is valuable. And there are things like gold. That we all also agree is valuable. But then again, You wait to say that we're not special. Listen, guys, I'm gonna be done this video. I'm pretty to be done. My eyes just run dry. I'm probably gonna upload my videos at work tomorrow. 
I want to name them. I don't want to ignore about that. Catch you guys in the video.